Thank you, my brothers. I stand on their broad shoulders because they set up the judiciary transformation framework that set us on the path of ensuring that we create a very strong, independent judiciary. When I became the Chief Justice, we agreed we continue on that trajectory, and the only uh, diversion I took is that I am a woman, I wear shoe number five, and there are high heels. I warned myself not to walk in their shoes, but to stand on their shoulder, which is the framework that they established. Thank you very much, my brothers. As we gather here, we are not lamenting. We as Africa, we are solidifying our voices to say that we will firmly protect our environment because it affects us and we have the responsibility to own it and care for it for the future generations. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for speaking from your heart because I think we need to simplify this message of environmental protection. And I'm being a child rights defender. What I'm telling people now is that we need to nurture our environment the same way we nurture our children. I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to each one of you for making time to come to Nairobi to attend this symposium. Your Excellency, this is indeed a sign of all our unwavering commitment and dedication to the cause of environmental justice. And your esteemed presence today is a testament to the importance and urgency of the issues we are here to discuss and also to resolve. We as African judiciaries, we have already agreed on a pathway to forge a corrective front in the fight against climate change. As we gather here in Nairobi, I am happy to share with you that the Kenyan judiciary is committed to serving as the hub for African judiciary's dialogue. We need to talk to each other as Africans. You have heard that we are bearing a bigger burden of the effect of the climate change. This is enough to bring us together. And for us in the Kenyan judiciary, we view hosting regional judiciary dialogues also as a means of fostering the development of African jurisprudence that is responsive to the unique concerns and aspirations of our continent. It is our vision to create a robust and dynamic platform for knowledge exchange, for our capacity building, and collaboration among African judiciaries enabling us to better understand, interpret, and apply the law to promote the social development and transformation of our respective judiciaries. In this context, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we view this three-in-one symposium on climate change as part of regional judicial dialogue aimed at providing a platform for us African judges and judicial officers to exchange ideas, learn from each other, and acquire the requisite knowledge, skills, and tools needed to effectively address the challenges facing our continent. As we all know, our continent is particularly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Our people our economies and our natural resources are all at risk as we grapple with the devastating consequences 
of rising temperatures, erratic weather patterns, and loss of biodiversity. It is within this context that our courts must play a decisive role in driving the adaptation, mitigation, and resilience building efforts required to combat climate change and to secure a sustainable future for our people. Indeed, our courts are the guardians of the rule of law and protectors of the constitutional rights, including the fundamental right to a clean and healthy environment. As judges, we have unique responsibility of interpreting and applying the law in a manner that promotes environmental sustainability, social equity, and intergenerational justice. This requires us to be bold, to be innovative, and proactive in our approach to environmental litigation, ensuring that our decisions and judgments contribute to the realization of a greener, more resilient Africa. In Kenya, we have made significant strides in promoting a transformative environmental constitutionalism that is rooted in the provisions of our constitution and the jurisprudence of our national environmental tribunal and the Environment and Land Court and other superior courts. Our courts are playing a critical role in advancing environmental justice in Kenya by interpreting and applying the constitution and other laws in a manner that promotes sustainable use and management of our land and natural resources. But moving forward from this symposium, we are saying we need to work with everybody else and also build their capacities and build their awareness about environmental protection. And as we look to the future, it is imperative that our judiciaries in Africa will continue to play a proactive role in the fight against climate change and building successes and lessons learned from our experiences thus far. We must be unyielding in our pursuit for justice, ensuring that, that our decisions and judgments contribute to the realization of a greener, more resilient and sustainable Africa. In this regard, I call my brother and sister Chief Justices and Judges present here today. We all join hands in a united front against climate change. We leverage on our collective wisdom, expertise, and our power of convening others to develop a jurisprudence that is uniquely African and responsive to our shared concerns. Let us collaborate, let us learn from one another, and share our experiences as we work together to build a brighter, more sustainable future for our continent and our people. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, allow me to reiterate that as guardians of the rule of law and the protectors of the constitutional rights of our people, we have a unique responsibility to ensure that our decisions and judgments contributes to greener, resilient, and sustainable Africa. Let us seize this moment to reaffirm our commitment to the cause of environmental justice and to pledge our unwavering support to all the efforts that have been put together by our respective judiciaries in combating climate change. Together we can make a difference and together we can build a brighter more sustainable future for our continent and our people. I wish you all a very, very fruitful and enriching symposium, and I am confident that our deliberations in the next few days will yield meaningful insights and lasting partnerships that will serve to strengthen our collective resolve in the fight against climate change. Once again, Your Excellency, I extend a very, very warm welcome to our guests, to Nairobi, 
and pray that our shared efforts in pursuit of environmental justice will bear fruit for generations to come. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, my lords and ladies, please join me as I welcome His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, to address this gathering and officially open the symposium. Welcome, 